Hey everybody, it is now April. How's everyone doing today? It's so lovely and sunny outside. Um, it's just a little bit too chilly for us to be taking this outside, uh, but we are uh, hopeful that in the near future we can return out to the deck rather than be in the living room. Um, so happy April. I hope everyone is still doing well. Um, I have a themed workout today. It is not an April Fool's Day workout. Uh, don't worry. I, I tried my best to come up with one and <laughs> couldn't really. Um, but I, I do want to focus on uh, some crossbody stuff today. So we are going to be working um, not unilaterally. So unilaterally is one side um, and bilaterally is using both but we're working contralaterally, which is going to be one arm, one leg, and they're on the opposite sides of the body. Hi, Lidbug. So you're only gonna need one weight, which is a great thing. And uh, with that said, let's get ready and get ourselves warming up. We're gonna start with a little Taylor Swift, okay? Just walk it out. So as you're doing this, I want you to really focus on bringing that chest up, standing up tall. Your knees are gonna come up. Try to find something that's maybe 10 feet away, something on the wall that you can focus on and look at. Maybe your computer is that way. Oh, do we have both kids at the same time? And a dog. So now, I want you to really think about taking it down a little bit more. Just tiptoe. Now go faster. Okay, walk it out. Okay, now we're gonna bring our knees higher. Again, you don't have to stay with the rhythm with this. Just keep it up. Walk it out. Okay, we're gonna walk it out, out, in, in. Got that? Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. In, in, out, out, in, in, faster, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. How are we doing, Mom? Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. One more time, walk out. Okay, reset now, okay? Listen, if you can't do that, it is fine. Just have fun with it. We are just trying to keep moving, that's all. Now I want you to kick across, and then kick across. Okay, three, two, one, walk it out. Now we're going to do a little bit of a reach, but we're going to start bringing in that contralateral work a little bit. So as we go, we're going to reach out opposite arm to opposite leg. Listen, you may not have this range of motion. It might just be here with a little kick, a little reach. You might have a lot. Okay? We all know my hip flexion is not the best. Try to drive your heel away from your body, though, and reach towards it. How are we doing? We're starting to work the full body, maybe get a little bit of rotation in. Here's the secret to this. Because we're working across the body, there's a lot of rotation today. So we have to stand up nice and tall. Okay, last one. 
Squawk it out. Again, maybe we're a little taller. Okay. I'm going to show you from the side so that you can do this. Okay. It's a step back and reach, step back and reach. It's opposite arm, opposite leg. Each time, we're changing. Feel it lengthening across the back. We're hitting with the toe on the back leg, and heel pushes back just a little bit more to stretch out the back of the leg. Feel your glutes waking up. Okay, reach, walk it out. How you feeling? How are you guys feeling? Hopefully we're starting to get a little bit of a shake back and forth, getting that twist in. It is all good. Okay. Now, in my classes, there's something about doing jumping jacks to me that makes me smile. Like, how can you not smile when you're doing a jumping jack? So what I would like you to do is to have a jumping jack. Evidently, yeah, my mother does not agree. So I'm just going to adjust the screen just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. Okay? You can. Yep. Okay, so it's out, out. So it's a half a jack, but it's not both arm and leg on the same side. It's arm and opposite leg. So reach, 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 arm and opposite leg. If you don't have it, it's okay. Okay. Maybe you can do a little bit more. Both arms, leg at the same time. Just side to side. Each time, reach up at the end. Really feel it pulling up. Walk it out. Grab a drink if you need it. It's a nice time to do that because you are about to kick your own butt. Yes, you are going to kick your own butt. So what I want you to do is butt kick and reach, butt kick and reach. So reach forward and kick your butt. It's a hand curl and a reach. Keep that core engaged as you're doing this. It's almost going to feel like you're starting to run. You ready to run, Mom? Okay. Now, chew on one side. I didn't tell her that was coming. Chew on the other side. Two. Two. Can we take it at three? Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one. Now give me four. Four. Three, two, one. We'll bring in a little balance. Four, three, two, one. Let's go to five. Betsy, I can count this high. Three, four, five. Other side. Five, four. Three, two, one, walk it out. You should maybe feel a little bit in the mid-back, a little bit in the lower back as we're crunching in there. Let's just take a minute to lift up. Maybe reach up and stretch out to the ceiling. Decompress that lower spine. Okay? Now, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we were pulling this way. Now we're going to pull in this way. So it's elbow, 
to me. We're going cross body. You know what I heard? I heard it's time to take it to two. Ready? One, two, other side. Now give me three. Three, two, one. Give me the other side. Three, two, one. Up to four. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Four, three, two, one. Can we hit five? Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Grab a drink. So a little bit of oblique action there. A little bit of cross body abs. Okay. So, I really want to work on everybody's lunges for just a second. And this is one of those things, I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit so that you can really hear, really focus in. So, lunges, you want to come down and lift this back heel. So, this back heel is lifted. What doesn't matter is how far you come here. So it can be short. I want you to feel stable. So if you take your leg back and you're like, woo, don't do it. Come in here, take your legs a little wider this way, okay? So this can add some stability and shorter, long ways can add some stability. So I want you to come down into this uh, lunge. We're gonna take our left forward. And I gotta find my timer. Because guys, we're not marching today. Get ready. We're gonna be punching. So 30 seconds of punches. I want the effort in. So nice strong base. And we're going side to side. Got it? Go. Sing it. Try not to let your butt wave side to side. Okay. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, just rest for a second. We're going to switch our lunge. How are you feeling? Heart rate's up a little bit? We want your heart rate to be up. Maybe a little dab of sweat's happening. So we switched our stance. We now have the other leg in front. You're gonna sink in, make sure this heel is up. Make sure you're feeling stable here. Get them up. And we got five seconds. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Punch. Keep that chest up. If you had writing on your chest, on the shirt, I gotta be able to read it. Right, Nancy? What joke have you got on for me today? Keep going. Almost done, five seconds. Okay, rest. I want you to switch it up. Okay, again, you've got 30 seconds to rest here. You can walk around for a second, you can grab a drink. It's yours. What I want you to not do is just plop down and be done for it. We recover better when we are moving around. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. We're going to switch that lunge again. I want you to feel that back heel up. I want you to sink down. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Punch, punch. Keep those shoulders lifted. Keep it coming. 
three, two, one. Rest. Swish it up. Woo. I am definitely feeling my heart rate up now. Okay. Let's set it up. Get the back heel up. Bend at each knee. Sink it down. You've got 10 more seconds. So how strong do you feel? So I, I'm just looking and my knee was caving in here. You want to keep it out. You want to keep it nice and stable. So get ready. Let's punch. Nice full body workout here. Keep it coming. And we're done. Grab a drink. Walk around. We are going to do a little bit of balance work first. So I want you to come to this side of your chair, okay? Normally when I'm in a classroom, I know like which side it is, but depending on how you're viewing me, it's going to be a little bit different. So come to this side, and I want you to stand up tall, and I want you to reach towards me. I can feel you all out there. Come on, reach in to the side and to the back, to the side, to the front. Keep this going. And as you feel more confident, maybe you don't need this other hand on the chair. Maybe you do. Maybe you just need to tap down. Maybe you feel your big toe as your big stability point. Keep it coming. Okay, stop in front. We're gonna go down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So this challenges our stability in a little different way. It's a nice balance workout though. Anytime you need to, hold on. We have this huge window here and I just watched my daughter go zooming past. She was running so fast. After two days of rain, we're so happy for some sunshine and some outside time. Okay, last one. Oh, shake it out for a second. Both are gonna go down. They're not gonna stay down though. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of an open and close. So we've worked in this plane and we've worked in this plane. So we are gonna work side to side now. So stand here and you're gonna point your toes towards me. Just open and close. As you're doing this, feel your core. Come on. If you need to, put your hands here. You can be like, I can't eat too much ice cream since I've been stuck at home. That might be what I'm feeling. Oh, wow, how does curbside delivery? When we found out that it was a game changer in our house. Okay, keep coming. Three, two, hold it out. Pulse, 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 pulse. Oh, this is terrible. Three, two, one. You guys, that is called a side butt. It's your glute knee. It's working for you there. It's a lot of side to side stability. So if we are ever falling this way, we engage our glute knee to help us stabilize. Okay? So now we are going to work the other glute, which is our gluteus medius maximus. Okay? So we're going to do a cross back lunge. So uh, when you cross back, you're going to embrace your inner gallery. Okay? Just picture it. This is kind of where we're going. We're not going to do that though. Okay? It's only half of that. And then step up. Half. Step up. So do you need to do that? No, you can knee lift. If you want a little more balance, you can knee lift. Or you can tap. I can always tell when my mother says, not that progression. 
three, two, feel it open up here. Oh. Yay. Okay. Last little bit of balance on this side. I don't have to do it all over on the other side, but I want you to come up, hold it here. Everybody's going to hold on because we're going to take it out into a different plane for a second. If you're familiar with tree pose, this is kind of a modified tree pose. So you're going to bring your knee up and then just use your hand to push it open. So if we were on a tree, it would go to here. Okay? But we're not. We don't want to put any excess joint pressure on the knee. So we just let our leg hang. So if you're feeling a lot of this, flex your foot. It's going to help you. It's going to make it a little more accessible. Now try to shift this hip forward a little bit more. Nicely done. Okay, over to the other side. I'm going to give Mama just a little bit more room here. So, outside, where we started, right? Okay. Clock reach. I'm not going to hit you, right? This balance work is making me sweat. Okay, keep it coming. If you can, you can let go. Here comes the dog. Okay, hold it in front. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Keep it coming. Everybody wants a nice side butt. It works well for us. Okay, stand up tall. Open, close. Open, close. Okay, feel the toe in the grounded foot. Help you lift higher. Hold it out. One, walk it out. Okay? Guys. Take a quick drink of water, and let's go ahead and sit down. We are going to need our weight. You got one, right, Mom? I was nice enough to put it out for her. Okay. I'm going to have you sit up. We're going to open out to the side, and then hand it off. And then open out to the side. And hand it off. Side, hand off. Side, hand off. This is working our core. Bring your chest up here so that we're nice and stable. Hand it off and hold. Nicely done. Oh. So, we're going to keep it on this side. You're going to reach across, grab it, row it across, put it down. Reach across and grab it, row it across, and down. Okay, this is a lot of things happening at once. Okay. Reach, row, reach, and grab. Row, reach, grab. Two more. One. Nicely, nicely done. Okay. We're going to add a little attitude 
agree to that. Hands on the hip. Give me a shoulder press. So up and down. Listen. This stays straight up. We aren't going in like this. So reach up and down. Up and down. Okay, last one. Switch sides. Push it up and down. Keep this coming. I want you to feel these obliques lifting and these obliques supporting. Two and one. Keep it in this hand. Bring it here. Oh, this can't be good. Row it. Press it. Bring it down. Row it. Press it. Okay. Inner Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Fever. I'll get there. Live from Lambertville. It's Saturday Night Fever. You're going to give me one more. Row it. Press it. Switch hands. Make you give yourself a little shoulder roll. Gosh, that was a lot. So we're working some muscles, maybe, that we aren't working on a normal day. Okay? So reach across. We still want to feel tall here. We're not going to collapse in. Still feel tall. Row it. Press it. If you need to, use your hand to make sure you're engaging these glutes, or uh, you're engaging these obliques, okay? These are the abs that matter for posture. This rectus abdominis, not as important. These side abs, the ones that wrap around your body, those are the ones that support you. You're gonna give me one more. Whew. Okay, so take a little minute, grab a drink, because we're gonna get a little complicated. We like complicated. My mother's like, I skipped the last class and I'm feeling it. So, we've already done our shoulder press, right? So, if you recall from my classes, there is an ex, uh, ex governor of California who came up with a very nice way to work the front of our shoulder. Okay? It's called an Arnold press. We're going to do a half of that Arnold press. So, we're leading with the elbows in. This is working the front part of that shoulder, that rotator cuff. Three, two, and one. Okay, feeling that also in the pec minor. Um, we're gonna go to the other side. So, sit up tall. Again, you can use this hand for support. In and out. This elbow stays at shoulder height and it leads the way. Elbows in charge, not anything else. Don't lead in with the wrist. Three, two, one. Put it down. What do you say we do the whole arm of press? We're going to do that on one side though. So we're going to come up here. Now watch while I do it. It's a press up, pull down, in, out, press, pull, in, out. Got it? Let's go. Press, pull, in, out. 
Press, pull, in, out. I'm heating up. Last one. Press, pull, in, out. Woo! Hello, shoulder muscle. Roll it if you need it. Go to the other side. Sit up tall again. Press, pull, in, out. Everybody's joining. Five. Four, three, two, one, hold it in, roll the other shoulder. Oh gosh. So, at Cornerstone, I was really um, taken today. There is another class happening uh, called Guns and Busts. Well, I've already given you some buns today, so we're going to work on the guns now. So we're going to work on the biceps. We did this the last time as well. I really want you to focus in on those biceps. So I want you to take this leg out far. Okay? Maybe spread a little bit. It's okay to do the man spread right now. We need six feet apart, okay? So I want you to have your elbow into your thigh. It digs in as we bring it up. So dig it in and then all the way down. So listen, we dig in and we curl up, but then we don't just drop down, okay? Otherwise we dump everything. So curl in and then support down. We build power here but we build strength on the way down. So why is weight training so important? Well, there's many reasons, but it does keep our bone density. So as you train with additional weight, you are progressing or maintaining bone density at a higher rate than if you didn't. Give you one more. Okay, now we're gonna switch the legs, switch the arm. Now give me a curl up, all the way down with strength. Curl up, down. Okay. Three, two, and one, hold it, put it on your lap, shake it out, say, my arms, my arms, they're so big all of a sudden. Ugh. No, really, the biceps are so important. Opening jars, picking stuff up from the floor. If you need to pick up my dog, you need a good biceps, okay? So now, we are going to use this weight, and we're going to sit a little bit forward. So I'm gonna change my chair. You don't have to. I want you to sit forward on the chair. Sit up nice and tall. He knew I was talking about it. So sit up nice and tall. Lean back. I want you to put your hand on your hip on the other side. Give me just a few chest presses. Three, four, five, and six. Sit up. Change hands. Hands on hip. Get ready. Give me six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back. So listen, we're going to change things up a little bit. It's no longer a press. It's going to be a fly. So I want you to think about giving a hug here. If only four. This is an intense movement. Use it to build your chest. Feel that tension across your chest. So ready, come back. Four, and open. Three, and open. Two, one, sit up, hand it off. Come on back. Four, three, two, one. Anybody else 
feel a surprising amount of oblique work in there? I hope so. That's what I was going for. Okay? So we worked our chest a little bit. Uh, we worked our biceps. So I want to work something else. And it's going to require you to come up. We're going to work our triceps a little bit. I want you to come into one of those short lunges. So heels lifted on the back. Both legs are bent. We're nice and stable. Again, if you need to go wider, you can. So go wide this way. We don't want to go wide this way. So longer is less stable. Shorter is stable. And wider is more stable. And skinnier is less stable. So it makes sense. If you have a house that is very, very skinny and the wind hits it this way, it's going to wobble back and forth or it's going to fall down. So we want bigger roots here. Okay? So now, you lean in as if we're going to go skiing. Your butt is going to stick out. I want you to think about your elbow not moving. It's right here along. Just kick it back. Three. Four. Feel this in the back of the arm. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Switch it up. So, opposite lead leg. Come in. Make sure that tailbone's out. Stick the butt out. It's okay. Ready? Ten. Eight. Don't swing. Elbow stays the same. Right from the elbow. So push back. And now just bend the elbow. There you go. Push back. Now you feel it back there. Last one. Okay. You should feel that right in the back here. That's really, really important. We've got one more thing to do. Just one. We are going to work contralaterally, but we are going to work on the back here. And the reason why I think it's so important for us to not work with any weight here is because our arms weigh something. So we're going to do a delt fly. So we're going to come back into that position that we just had, except we're going to open up to the side. So we lunge in and then open. So you're facing maybe three or four feet in front of you on the floor. Feel that upper back working for you. It's not shoulders, it's upper back. You're feeling it right here. Three, two, and one. Okay, now come in on the other side, lean in, Feel it nice and strong. Open and close. Halfway. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, we are done with our weight section. The work is finished. So let's reset ourselves in the best way that we possibly can. So I'm gonna just find some nice, chilling music. So I want you to come here. We're gonna open up the same way that we worked. We're gonna do contralateral stretches. So I want you to reach with this hand across to this toe. Keep your chest up here. So I don't want you collapsing in. Keep it up and feel that rotation. Feel it across your back. Okay, now come to the other side. Okay, forward again with this leg. I want you to grab your wrist behind and then just sit up tall. Switch arms, switch legs. Okay, switch legs. We're gonna take this arm, reach up and over. 
Really feel this side opening up. Keep it in front, reach across with the same height. Switch the legs. Across. And reach across. Okay, we're gonna take our thumbs, point them down, and point them maybe a little back. We're gonna get those biceps stretched out a little bit. And now flip it and stretch out the chest. Bring your heart towards the screen, towards me there. Nicely done. Now go ahead, reach up, and then just let it go, okay? Reach up and let everything collapse, it's fine. Okay, reach up, collapse, reach up, collapse. One more time, reach up and hold it. Collapse it all to the side, nice and slow. Just come on in, lean in, chest is gonna come to thighs. If you wanna give your knees a hug, you can. Come on up. Roll your shoulders back. We are done. Listen, I will be back next Monday at 11 o'clock. I'll put the link up, uh, and then we'll, we'll just continue doing Monday, Wednesdays until uh, this is all done. But uh, thank you all for joining us. Please go out, enjoy the sunshine if you got it today. Make sure you are keeping active. Make sure you're keeping well. And be, be, be well. Thank you, guys.